Quotes by Reverend Chris Christian, the shepherd of mankind. A solitary is someone who doesn't belong to any family and as such is exposed to all manner of evils. God functions on earth through families. The God of a particular family doesn't give blessings to those who are not members of such family. The way families raise their children is part of their uniqueness. God's blessings for you is in your family. If it is not in your family, it can be in any other place. The primary reason Jesus Christ came to the earth was to raise a new family for God. So we are priests and kings raised by Jesus Christ unto God to reign on earth. God depends on family heads to share inheritance to family members. God will not bless anyone he doesn't find in a family. The worst thing that can happen to anyone is to be a solitary. The prodigal son had a bitter and unforgettable experience when he walked away from his family house and joined himself to the people of another country. There is no limit to the measure of shame Satan exposes men to when they wander out of their family house. It is the inheritance of heads that determines how they are made ready and who makes them ready. Lions can be raised by sheep. Impartation preserves the lives of heads. It is not possible for heads who are sufficiently and discreetly imparted to go astray. All wanderers are vulnerable. Being a wanderer means that someone doesn't belong to God or any family. Wandering connotes valuelessness and shame. If God doesn't meet us in a family, he will not be part of our lives. Loving your children is the first tangible impartation you give to them. Parents should pay adequate attention to themselves because children learn from their actions. Children should be shown the way to follow so that when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Anyone who is always alone is spiritually and mentally depraved. God gives a family to the solitary because men are expected to receive blessings from their source. Anyone who is not part of Jesus' family can be part of God. All that Jesus paid for are now the benefits of all who belong to the family of God.